Hey all you cats and kittens out there in the student of the gun audience. Let's talk about universal firearm safety rules. You're like, I already know all those. Oh, you do. You do know all those. I know those too. But every time there's a negligent shooting, we talk about them. And that seems to be the only time we talk about universal safety rules is after a nationwide, you know, somebody catches, you have a negligent shooting, it's on a security cam, they put it up on YouTube, and everyone in the world watches it. And everyone wants to talk about the universal safety rules after the negligent discharge. I got an idea. How about we talk about those and we apply them before the next negligent discharge? Like all the time. Yeah, that's a crazy thought, right? A, number one, treat every gun as if it's always loaded all the time. I know that's crazy, but that negates the whole, it's okay, it's not loaded. How many times do we still have to keep hearing that? It's not okay, I don't care, it is a real gun, treat it like it's loaded, don't point it at me. Number two, keep your booger hook off the bang switch. Keep your finger off the trigger until your sights are on target and you've made the decision to fire. Guns want to shoot. This gun wants to shoot. Okay, this gun doesn't want to shoot because it's a trainer, but if this was a real gun, it wants to shoot. The gun wants to go bang. It's designed to go bang. When the gun goes bang, it's not wrong. It's doing what it's supposed to do. The only way that you could be wrong is if you're wrong. All right, number three, never allow the muzzle to cover anything that you're not willing to destroy. People say, ah, oh, that you don't intend to shoot. No, bull crap. You don't intend to shoot everything in the world. When the gun's in the holster, you're not intending to shoot the floor. But if you shot the floor, wouldn't it be okay? It wouldn't be fun, but it would be okay. Never allow the muzzle to cover anything that you would not be willing to put a bullet into. It's as simple as that. And then number four, know your target, what's around it, and what's beyond it. Every time there's a negligent discharge and someone ends up bleeding, the reason that happened was because one, two, maybe even three of the universal safety rules were violated. Let's talk about them now before the next negligent discharge, not just afterwards. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Student of the Gun Homeroom. Make sure that you're listening to the radio show each and every week, watching the TV show, and that you download the mobile app. Hey, it's free, right? You can get it at the Google Play Store or your iTunes Store. And please leave your comments below.